In this section, we will see the clear property used with floats. The clear property is used to set the position of the element, that is, which side of the floating elements are allowed to float. In other way, clear is used to indicate whether the element should be below the other element or above it or to its left or right. Also, the clear property is directly related to floats. The clear property can have one of the following values. None, which allows floating elements on both sides and it is by default. Left, using this, no floating elements are allowed on the left side. Same goes with right, no floating elements allowed on the right side. And then comes the both, that means no floating elements allowed on either the left or right side. Lastly, inherit. The element inherits the clear value of its parent. Let's practically try this. Here I have a piece of code. Let me just go through the code once. I have a division, that is division 1, 2, 3 and 4. For each division, I have given border, as you can see in the code, the width and height, margin and each element is float left. Now let's run the code. As you can see in the output, all the floating elements are on the left side. Now let's type clear right in the division 1 and see what change it does to the block 1. Now you see the right side of block 1 is being cleared and the remaining elements are forced to shift below. Now let's say clear left in the division 2 and see what changes happen. You can see that the left side of the block 2 is now cleared. That's why it is shifted below. Now what if I write clear both in division 3? Let's check that as well. So you can see that both sides of block 3, that is the left and right sides are now cleared. That means the float is cleared on both the sides. So this is the use of the clear property. It helps you to clear the floating around the element.